Hi guys, welcome back to No Man's Land. I'm Anna. And I'm Shelly. And you might be asking yourself why I sound so tired. <laughs> We've been moving. We moved from the 17th floor to the 4th floor. We moved down to a bigger apartment with a balcony, so I think you worked out. But the temporary problem is that moving sucks. It really sucks. sucks. <laughs> if you are a New Yorker, based on how long you spent in, how much time you spent in the city, you probably moved about 10 to 20 times. I've only moved five times. And you lived here how long? F almost five years. My rate's about the same. I've lived here 10 years in August, and I have moved 11 times. 11 times. Every time you do it, you're like, oh, I learned so much from the last time. It's going to be great. And then you're just like, oh, why, why? So we're going to give you some tips on how to be as efficient, as cheap, and as green as possible while moving. Here's my thing, when we moved from Lower East Side to Brooklyn, Shelly made us move our ice cream. I'm like, eat it or throw it out. Why are we moving ice cream? It's gonna melt. And she refused, and that ice cream came with us from Lower, Lower East Side, Side to Brooklyn, and it was still fine, and she ate it here. My point is- No, I'm pretty sure she ate all the ice cream, and every time she took a bite, I was like, mm-hmm, told me not to move the ice cream, but it's true. Either way, it took she up space it. in the box. Eat all the food, she's right, because by the time you get to where you're gonna get be, it'll probably be bad or gross or whatever. And you can totally move dry goods, like canned goods, flour, sugar, you know, all of your herbs and spices, Cheetos, whatever, whatever you wanna move. You eat those Cheetos and those hot dogs and that mustard and that relish that you've never touched once, except for the one time you had people over because someone named Sally liked relish. You can actually go to liquor stores, grocery stores, even in your office, like if you have like office supply deliveries, they have like those huge boxes for paper. You just stop in maybe, you know, at a restaurant or a bar, like around, you know, an afternoon time around four or five and say, hey, do you guys have any extra boxes? Because most of them, you know, they recycle boxes and they flatten them and they'll have extra ones that are in pretty good shape. If you have clothes that you never wear, just donate them. Recycle stuff that you don't really use. Try to sell it on Craigslist. The less that you have to move, the easier your move is going to be. Mail that you're going to throw out, like old envelopes, magazines, newspapers, any kind of paper that you have around the house or that's free that you can get on the street, use that as wrapping for your breakable, fragile items. Another good way to wrap your stuff is to use plastic bags. They're really, really bad for the environment, so any way that you can find to recycle them is great. But make sure that you label all of your boxes so that you can just bring them straight into whatever room they're supposed to go to. If they're for the kitchen, you can bring them straight into the kitchen. That way, you don't have kitchen pots and pans in your bedroom that you have to lug back over that way again. you're probably gonna want an extra hand. So ask a friend to help you. Offer them beer, offer them pizza. But don't ask the last minute. Give them time to plan out their situation. Try and do it on a weekend if you can. You can put a little advertisement on your Facebook page and your friends will respond. There are easy ways to move things, like putting them on a skateboard. Last time we moved from the Lower East Side, uh, one of our, a couple of our good friends helped us out and we rented a U-Haul for I think it was like 25 bucks for the whole day or like eight hours or whatever. And we just had everything boxed up. It was up. only $25? Yeah, it was really cheap. I obviously if didn't you, pay for it. If you get insurance, it's, I think it's like 50 bucks. Keep in mind that a lot of these tips are for people that live in a city who don't have access to a car. If you have a car and you don't need to run a U-Haul, amazing for you. It's right. just really annoying to have to take your stuff on a subway. Now you've heard all of our tips. If you guys have extra tips, tools of the trade that you want to share with us, moving horror stories are really fun. Leave them in the comments below. We want to hear them from you. We love your comments. Subscribe to the Dig channel and also you can follow us on Twitter right here. And his boobs. Thanks guys. Thanks.